Good day and welcome to video number five where we are going to analyze the spread. Another word for spread is distribution. So there are two spread in level one and level two and level three statistics. They are called the range and interquartile range. Range is just max minus mean. So the biggest number minus the smallest number, while the interquartile range is the 75%, which is the upper quartile minus the 25%, which is called the lower quartile. So the range is the smallest to the biggest, and for the interquartile range is the box there. Okay, so the box is also called the middle 50% or also called the interquartile range. So to, now we are going to analyze the range and interquartile range. Let's look at the numbers. The numbers are all found at the corner of the graph. Okay, so we are need to find the max minus mean. So max in this case is 105, mean is 77. Max is 129, mean is 98. So we're going to write in words. So the range weight for back rugby player, the top number there, okay, is 28 kg. Okay, why? Because 105 minus 77 is 28 kg. While the range weight for the forward at the bottom here is going to be 129 minus 98. That will give us 31 kg. So the range weight for the forward rugby players is going to be larger by 3 kg. Because 31 is 3 more than 28. Now we're going to analyze the interquartile range. I'm going to bring up a bit so that there's enough space, okay? The interquartile range is now the upper quartile minus lower quartile. Upper quartile is 96, lower quartile is 88. For back, while the upper quartile for forward is going to be 116 and lower quartile is 104. So now we're going to write in words. The interquartile range for back players, the top one, is going to be equal to 8 kg because 96 minus 88 is 8 kg. While the interquartile range for the forward rugby player is going to be 12 kg because 116 minus 104 and that will give us 12. So the IQR weight for the rugby forward rugby players is 4 more because 112 minus 8 is going to be 4. So in both cases, the range and interquartile range is larger for the forward rugby player. So we're going to conclude from that statement and that statement is going to sound like this. Okay, so we are going to take the paper away. Okay, and now we shall conclude what we confound beforehand. Okay, so because they have the bigger range and bigger IQR, we can conclude that the rugby, forward rugby players have a bigger spread or bigger distribution than the back rugby player. So this is how you answer the spread or distribution and hopefully you watch me again for the next video where we will talk about uh, most likely going to be shift overlap and the shape cheers everyone and have a good day